In this work, we present a new flash technique for low-light imaging. Burst photography is widely adopted for low-light imaging by fusing a burst of noisy images. More recent approaches tackle the low-light imaging problem using modern neural network models and process on the raw sensor data. These approaches still fail in very dim environments, where the raw data suffers from very poor signal-to-noise ratio. They still need adequate illuminance. Flash photography also has a long history and generally provides the best results. However, white flash dazzles human eyes, and it is not user-friendly. Using invisible flashes can avoid this disturbance. However, RGB cameras do not have sensitivity to the invisible spectrum. Using white flash or NIR flash either raises social problems or requires a complicated hardware. Both are not desired. We propose to use the deep red light as an illuminating source for low-light imaging. We further extend this flash technique for low-light video reconstruction. The design of this flash is in the consideration of the human visual system. The cones and rods are responsible for the perception of light. The cones function in bright light conditions, referring to photopic vision. The rods become active in dim light conditions, referring to scotopic vision. A combination of cones and rods form mesopic vision. Given the luminosity function of human eye and the spectral power of a white flash and the deep red flash, we could compute the perceived brightness by human eye. In extra dim conditions, using white flash is over two orders of magnitude brighter than using the red flash as perceived by the human eye when the camera receives the same amount of signals. Another significant property of human visual system in dim conditions is dark adaptation. In a brightly lit room, the human visual system has a good sense of color and high spatial acuity. When the light is off, the human eye is temporarily blind. The visual system undergoes a gradual transition from cone vision to rod vision. It achieves night vision with low acuity and nearly no color sense after 30 minutes. When exposed to light, like a burst of white flash, the rods immediately photobleach and lose their sensitivity to light, causing flash blindness. Night vision, however, is preserved using deep red light. For red flash, low light imaging, we trained a neural network named as Mesopic Flash Fusion Network to fuse the ambient light image and the guide image. Please see the manuscript for details on the training phase. We compared the proposed flash method against state-of-the-art no-flash approach. The input to the no-flash method is the ambient light image only. We find that in extra-dim environments, which are beyond the capability of no-flash methods, it is essential to use flashes to capture interested scene details. We further compare our reconstruction results to alternative guided image fusion methods. They fail to retrieve fine image details in these rather challenging situations, whereas our method produces clean outputs with fine image features recovered. To generalize low-light photography to videography, the input becomes a sequence of flash and no-flash image pairs recorded by the same camera. We present a pipeline for robust video reconstruction. We first compute the optical flow between two consecutive guide signals. We then forward warp the flashed frame by one half of the flow field to pair with the no flash frame, and forward warp the no flash frame by the other half of the flow field to pair with the next flashed frame. Such a process ensures a robust alignment in the dark. We then apply Mesopic Flash Fusion Network to each pair and a temporal enhancement network to alleviate flickering artifacts. Such a pipeline preserves the original frame rate. We show the reconstructed videos for dynamic scenes. The left is the input video with guide frames removed. We also show the qualitative comparison with no flash video reconstruction method. Like no flash photography, state of the art no flash video denoising approaches cannot recover sufficient image details when the camera sensor captures poor signals. In the last example, we show a scene with human motions. Thank you for watching.
the code and data are made available.